Welcome to the introduction training for the Brooks MK1 Transfer Sweeper with John Morton. Uh, John? John? Ah, there you are. Uh, John, what have I told you about dress code? That's better. All right, let's get started by visually inspecting for leaks or obvious damages to the machine. Be sure to check the condition of the conveyor belt as well as the side plates. Looks like those are about ready to be replaced. Also, check the brush in case it needs to be replaced as well. Next, open the hood to check the fluid levels. Radiator fluid should be visible beneath the fill cap. The dipstick on the CAT C4.4 can be reached on the lower right side of the engine. Be sure to re-secure the hood latches before operating. Everything ready, John? Once inside the cab, notice that there is no directional control on the floor, only a brake pedal. Instead, speed and direction on the MK1 is controlled by a lever to the right of the driver's seat. Also notice that all of the sweep and transfer controls are located in a control box to the left of the driver. All right, fasten your seat belt and start her up, John. Great driving, John. Now let's see what else the MK1 can do. Before beginning sweeping, bring the MK1 to full throttle. Once the engine speed is adjusted, turn on the brush, conveyor belt, and auger using their knobs on the control box. Finally, flip the broom switch to float. Be sure the brush is rotating before lowering it to avoid damage. And remember, the float position is only used for sweeping. Otherwise, keep the broom switch in the run position. Now you're ready to break street sweeping records. To maneuver the conveyor belt, use the joystick on the control box located to the left of the driver's seat. While sweeping with the MK1, the speed of the auger, conveyor, and broom can all be adjusted by the potentiometers on the control box to reach the appropriate rate for the amount of material being moved. The auger can also be rotated backwards in case of jammed materials. Finally, in case of an emergency, the MK1 is equipped with a large red kill switch which shuts off all operation of the transfer system. Well, what do you think, John? Are you ready to sweep some real roads? Are you sure? Don't you think we need to practice a little more? All right, one mistake and you're gonna be repainted hot pink. Okay, well, if you need to go back and watch this video again, be sure and do it. But otherwise, drive off in your new MK1 and go sweep away the competition.